we use the wrong word or the wrong term for something, and because, Christine, we use the wrong word or the wrong term, it kind of confirms a bias we have going in. We always use the word in sports, distraction. Is OBJ a distraction? Is Lane Kiffin leaving a distraction? Is Antonio Brown's Facebook Live a distraction? That's the wrong word, of course. The right word is, it's a sign. Lane Kiffin leaving was not a distraction. Alabama's too organized to be distracted. It was a sign that Lane Kiffin was tired of Lane's selfishness and immaturity. OBJ was not a distraction. It was a sign that he couldn't stay out of the papers for one more week. Can you imagine what a pain in the arse he was behind the scenes? Antonio Brown is and was not a distraction. What Antonio Brown was was a sign. It was a message how loose the Steelers organization is. The Joey Porter incident two weeks ago, the fight with coaches in the Cincinnati playoff game, Antonio Brown Facebook, Big Ben ripping the team for disorganization and practice habits. Those are not distractions. They are signs. Remember when New England had the running back, Jonas Gray, four touchdowns against Indy the following week on the cover of Sports Illustrated? He showed up late the following week to practice. He was cut. That was a sign, too. Nick Saban and Bill Belichick send you signs all the time as players. You're simply not that valuable. I will win without you. How's Cleveland with Jamie Collins? Because I know how New England is better defensively. We look for signs all the time. Look up the Stanford marshmallow experiment. Do it yourself. You've got time. We often look and we point and we say, will this affect the game? I have been on this now for 12 months. The media has decided you cannot criticize Mike Tomlin. You tell me, Tom Brady is better against Mike Tomlin than any other coach in the league. Is it because Mike Tomlin doesn't have good players during this reign? No, it wouldn't be that. Why would Tom Brady complete a higher percentage, be 22 touchdowns, no picks, and his higher passer rating, 6-1, and one, against the team as talented as Pittsburgh? It's not because of distractions. It's because of signs. Pittsburgh, over the last couple of years, has given us signs that they're not organized. How many blown coverage, how many, ask yourself, Steeler fans, how many blown coverages do you, you have yesterday? More than maybe New England's had in the season? How badly coached does a free safety have to be when on a flea flicker, New England runs regularly the free safety doesn't even pay attention to the Patriots' offensive lineman who never ran block on the play. Free safeties are the last line of defense when you don't pay attention, when you're not well-schooled, when details are secondary to emotion, you get hooked on that play. That is an easy play to defend if you're well-coached. Tom Brady and Belichick own two coaches in this league, Tomlin and Rex Ryan. High on emotion, low on details. Antonio Brown was not a distraction. It is another sign and message. Be it Big Ben's criticism, Joey Porter incident, Facebook Live, 12th in third down efficiency, despite Big Ben, Lavian Bell, Antonio Brown, and two pro bowlers on the offensive front. And a family with the Roonies that continue to pay whatever it costs for a real good coaching staff. They're not distractions. The reason I took New England in this game, and the reason despite those points, on Friday I took New England to cover in this game, despite coming off their ugliest performance in a long time, was exactly what you saw. Pittsburgh is not brilliantly coached. I'm not calling for anybody's job, 
But teams tell you what they are. Companies tell you what they are. People tell you what they are. Watch how they treat a waiter. I had a coach once say, I watch how recruits treat their mom. If they'll disrespect their mom, how will they disrespect me? By the way, that coach is Lou Holtz. He was pretty good. People send you signs. Believe them. Pittsburgh is loose, not buttoned up, has no attention to detail, and the surgical precision of New England, once again, hot knife meets butter against Rex Ryan and against Mike Tomlin. Darn good at press conferences, but as the game gets more analytical and more precise, they don't match up. Good stuff. That flea flicker, it is remarkable. That is not for a free safety, a tough play to defend. 1,001. Oh, the offensive linemen are standing. They're not run blocking.